Hey, this is CJ Crafter, and welcome to the BioManager tutorial. BioManager is currently for version 3.0.1, but most of the features are most likely unchanged, even if you are on future versions. All right, BioManager can be used to color your biomes to have custom colors, effects, and sounds, but it can also be used to create custom biomes. But before we get into creating custom biomes, let's first explain the basics. All right, the basics. What you need to know, slash BM. All right, it tells you all the commands you need. But really, your favorite command is going to be biome menu. So biome menu, unfortunately, requires you to specify a biome. Right now, I know we're in a river biome, so I'll use the river biome. And you'll see it gives you all this nice information. So the river biome has a water color, a sky color, a cave sound. It's got no music, no random sound, all right? So this, this menu, it tells you a lot of information. And you can click on any part of this menu to uh, set separate values. So let's set the river water to be blood red. Let's set the river sky to be uh, magenta. And let's set the river foliage to be yellow. If you need help choosing colors, you can use a hexadecimal color picker. And uh, Google has one right here. You can see if you scroll around, you can copy this value and paste that into your command, but take out the hashtag, and that's all you need to do. All right, so once you set your colors, you have to disconnect from the server and reconnect. And you'll notice some dramatic changes. So now the sky is pink, the water is white, and you see the purples, or the purples, the leaves are purple. I admittedly thought I was setting it to a more magenta color, but I was wrong because I'm not a good guesser. And uh, this is pretty interesting, but it looks terrible, doesn't it? I don't think you want this in your world. So let's fix it. Uh, let's reset it using BioManager Reset River. And now if we leave and rejoin, you'll notice that all the colors are back to as they started. Good stuff. Okay. But how do you check which biome you're in? If you're smart, you can use F3. Or if you feel like having an easier time, you can enter editor mode. And when you enter editor mode, you can move around and you'll see that which biome you're in and the menu for that biome automatically pops up. So you see now I'm in a forest, now I'm in a river, I'm gonna go back into a forest, and then plains. And of course you can use this in any, any biome you want. All right, I'm not gonna explain what each of these do. You can check the wiki for that. I'll include some links, but some of the confusing ones, ambient sound, are sounds that are constantly playing at all times. So if I set this to a sound like Entity, Enderman, uh, here, well, well, this one, it doesn't matter. Uh, it'll play that sound, and once the sound stops, it'll replay the sound. So the sound constantly uh, keeps going. Random sound, is a sound that has a percent chance to play every tick. So if you set this to a 0.05, that means there's a 5% chance for the sound to play every tick, which means it's gonna play about once every second. That's an estimate though. Cave sounds are sounds that are only played in caves, and music is a sound that's played on a long timed delay. Personally, I think the particle option and the color options are your best choices. If you, this is great for map makers. For example, let's say we wanted a polluted river. We could go biome menu river. Oh, looks already popped up. And we could try to use a brown color. Uh, brown isn't a preset, so we'll have to use our best guesses, which I'm gonna say is uh, A F zero. Let's see how bad our guess was. <laughs> Oh, pretty rough. This is more like nuclear wastewater. <laughs> but the idea is you can use this in your nuclear power plant to, you know, show the goo. It's it's really great for map makers. But now this isn't very useful if your server is using uh, all the biomes for everything else. Like, what if you want your planes to stay normal? What if you want your river to stay the normal color? Well, this is when 
custom biomes come in handy. So let's try a custom biome. Let's fill this area here with a custom biome. So right now we are in the plains biome. So we're going to go BM create and we're going to create a name. So we'll call this YouTube. Okay, so now we've created a new biome, Biome Manager YouTube. We can click on that and edit the colors. So we're gonna set the grass color to be uh, pure red. And this is red, the command is red for now, but that's fine. If you leave and rejoin the server, it'll be green. Uh, it's just because we just made the biome and it's brand new and the client doesn't know about it yet, but this command will still work. All right, so if we make the grass, let's say blood red, and now leave, or actually no, we have to do one more thing. We have to fill the biome. So if we fill from this point to this point with our biome manager YouTube biome, we can now leave and rejoin. And you'll notice that it has a red tint to it. But you'll notice something. It's not blood red, right? It's not blood red. Why is that? Well, biome blending. So in Minecraft, we have biome blending, which is right up here. I have it turned up to max because I think it looks best. But if I turn it off, you'll notice that the biome is actually blood red. But there's this next issue, which is why is the grass in different colors? Like, see how it's not a perfect cube? That's unfortunately due to limitations in the Minecraft code. I, I cannot fix this. Minecraft did not expect you to do stuff like this, so you cannot change this, which is why biome blending is used. So if you turn your biome blending back on, it'll look a lot better. But another really cool thing you can do with this is if we go back into the menu for YouTube, we can change the particle. And let's say we want a smoke particle. Let's go with a campfire smoke. And we'll set this to 0.1 density. You can hover over these values and it'll tell you what they're from. So we'll, we'll use the basalt deltas value. And we leave and rejoin. <laughs> You'll notice that the smoke particle is localized in that one region, which you can use for really cool effects. And the best part is, it's all client side. So client side means that the server gets no lag, which is awesome because particle effects and complex particle effects can really take up server resources. But with this, it doesn't matter if you have a thousand players on your server, there's gonna be no lag because everything is already handled by the Minecraft client. This is done by default. So even if you have all of these options and all the smoke, the only lag that you're going to see is FPS lag. Like when I look at the smoke, I get 50 bar FPS, but if I look away, I get a little bit higher. Uh, not really, because I set to Vink Sync and I'm recording and whatnot, but uh, the only thing you have to be careful of is making sure you don't lag out your clients by spawning too many particles, but your server's not going to lag at all. All right, what else should I talk about? Uh, the help command is super helpful. All you have to do is put a question mark before your command and it tells you all about it. So you see it tells you the command, the description, the permission of the command. You can copy the permission. You can click on it to run it. So make sure you use the help command. That'll help you out a lot. And there's going to be some confusion here. So you notice how we use a custom biome here. What if you delete it? What happens? Well, when you delete a biome, it turns into planes. So let's try this. Biome, delete, and then YouTube. Okay, two things you'll notice, it's still there. All right. It's, it's impossible to remove it while the server's still running. So it's actually still in existence. Uh, but you'll also notice you can't create a new biome called YouTube. Uh, actually, I forgot to add a check for that. This is okay. Uh, this won't cause any issues. I'll fix this in the next version, but <laughs> um, You can't create a new biome with the same name that you already deleted you can in the future But you have to restart your server first. So if we restart our server 
sorry, this is going to take a second. I'll probably edit this out, or if I don't edit it out, sorry for being lazy. Okay, so now you can see that when we rejoin, the biome is gone, and it was reset to the plains biome. Uh, but you might also notice that in config, there's some errors. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about those errors. They won't impact your server. They're recoverable errors, which means that the server is just going to warn you in console that something went wrong, and the biome doesn't exist anymore. That, that's a simple fact. Uh, when you delete a biome, if you've placed a lot of the biome, you're gonna get console spam. There is nothing I can do about that. Please do not message me about this. I will not fix it. I cannot fix it. All right. So. Oh, you can hear the sounds that confused me for a second. This is the ambient uh, alley sound. You can hear it. That sounds terrible. I hate it. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> All right, so there's a few other things to look out for. Let's say I... Oh, a, a fun command is randomize. So if we're going to randomize the forest. We're going to randomize the plains, the river, the old growth birch forest. And let's leave and rejoin. <laughs> All right, so first of all, the colors are dramatically different. <laughs> Looks interesting, actually. But you'll also see that the birch trees are broken. And this is another Minecraft limitation. Birch leaves and a few other leaves actually do not change color. I believe, uh, don't quote me on it, but I believe that's mangrove leaves, azalea leaves, and spruce leaves. Uh, I'll, oh, okay, mangrove leaves actually change. I'll, I'll pull up a picture on screen now so you can see all the different colors. And you can also check the wiki for that information. But I also can't fix that. So sorry. Uh, I suppose that's all. You can use this. This is best for map makers. Uh, you can make really cool effects with this, especially with the particle option. Uh, having lag-free particles is really nice. It's powerful, and I've used it on my server, and it looks really good. And I hope you guys can use this to create similar effects. Uh, good luck. Join Discord if you need help. Thank you.